Hello and welcome to my island Borahe and my first YouTube video. This is my girl Uno and we're gonna take a look around my island. Let's start with my map. So on my map we got myself, Uno, two of my friends, and our islanders. We got Mira, Pierce, Wolfgang, Freya, Rosie, Nate, Sylvana, Norma, Julian, and Lily. I decided to do my island tour at night because I love all the lights and how pretty everything looks. So this is when you walk in, you see everything. It's not every day we get Pierce serenading us on the piano. Pretty amazing. We're going to walk this way and walk up to Town Square, say hi to Leaf. And for those who know, you know what I'm talking about. It's my friend's house up here. And this is a flower garden I got was inspired by off of Pinterest. It's every flower the game has. We walk down this way. Something else I was inspired by, by a YouTuber by the name of Tiger. Very much so by this little fruit pie area. Right down here is my house. A work in progress. Like a good percentage of my island. But we'll be working on it together. If we go up here, you're going to see the fruit orchard. Little sitting area. A little spot the honey is made and sold and then this little terraform area here cliff that I just did last minute like a day ago or two ago and try to decorate it and I'm not feeling it you can tell I'm not feeling it <laughs> the decoration show I'm not feeling it so we'll come back to that here's a little pond area you can sit picnic and read you got Nate up here Nate loves, to, oh we see Nate fishing, so I gave him a little fishing spot next to his house. And he got Pierce over here, uh oh, do you guys see that? Please tell me it's not only me that heart goes through the freaking roof when they stand up like that. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. <gasps> I got it! Okay, back to Pierce, his little gym, he's a jock, he loves working out. We have that set up. Then we have a beach. All the beaches need to be done except for like two parts. But it's also my overflow of my flowers. Because we all know we need to have somewhere to put them. We've got Freya's spot. And Rosie's spot. Rosie. Being Rosie. Those who knows Rosie. The peppy that wants to be a pop star. Gave her a little boom box. So let's circle back around. We're going to go up, and this is where Sylvana resides. You guys, it's October, huh? All new bugs. So on top of pumpkins, we get new bugs. I want to just give you guys a tour, but when it's stuff I've never had before, look at that. A man-faced stinked bug. And then right up here is Norma's spot, and Norma loves to talk about baking so I gave her some fruit trees let her hang out have a duck because who doesn't want ducks we all love ducks well I guess not all of us but on my island we all love ducks and they come back here and we got Lily spot we jump over here and we got a little park simple self-explanatory this way we have a basketball little basketball court and a cross over here into the pumpkin patch or should I say the start of the pumpkin patch I'm very excited to get the DIYs to add to this to make it grow but this is just the very start 
excited. I am excited. Um, and over here is a little, how do we say it, relaxing area, our little bamboo garden. You guys check it out. Very serene, calming. And up here, I have a stargazing cliff. There used to be a ramp here, but unfortunately, Animal Crossing only lets you have eight ramps. I thought we could have ten. I planned for ten. <laughs> So I had to take this ramp and put it over my campground, but I think it's okay. I think it kind of works to climb up the cliff to go stargazing. It's kind of romantic, right? I think so. And these flowers right here, I will say the first one showed up after I went stargazing for the first time. And I thought, oh, wow, is this like something that happens when you wish on stars these flowers show up and then weeks later watching a YouTube video or reading something you get them because you're a five-star island I didn't know I was a five-star island so it was a two-in-one I got to know what they were for and I found out I was a five-star island so it was exciting got a little mini teddy bear picnic happening right here I think on my beaches I want to do or one of my parts of my beach I want to do a teddy bear picnic or tea party or cake sweets just something right here I have a little reading library I don't know why I forgot what this is called but a little library <laughs> some books a little area to read relax over here we got the able sisters set up with their little spindle sewing project their loom and right down here we got Nook's Cranny, another little sitting area, and some more ducks. This guy, that red, totally fooled me, but I'm kind of glad he did because he's really cool and he floats. Over here got our little cafe, need some coffee, a little pick-me-up. Then I got a impromptu rock garden. In a way. I had three rocks just randomly spawn here. These three. And then I was like, well, let's try to get the other three. So I went through and placed little patterns on the ground and the rocks spawned here. Wasn't that hard actually. But my grounds my island's pretty full, so up this way we got the museum. Blathers hanging out. Little dig site. And I'll let you guys know, I'll list all of the codes I have for everything in the description. And a little secret, a little secret, after your long day, come check out Borahe's Spa. The pool, the hot pool, the hot pool we all wish we could get into. Little meditating area, grab a massage relax, do some shopping, and then my secret beach, which I have so many different ideas from. Everyone does such a cool job on their secret beaches that I want to, I'm inspired by too many different things, so I have to collect my thoughts and then come up with something there. We go back down, front of the museum, and then we have a beach party. At first it was gonna <laughs> at first I thought it was gonna be kind of make it small, intimate, some guitar and keyboard, and then it turned into the, like this fifties themed happy days beach party. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'm thinking on it. Got a lighthouse. I'm gonna say the same thing. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'm thinking on it. Oh, and guess what? Same thing. <laughs> so I made a little bonfire hangout for the campsite. And 
it's okay. It needs to be worked on. When we come this way, we got the campsite. A little hangout area, a little place to sing some songs, roast some marshmallows, some wash some clothes, read a book, cook some food, take a nap, and camp. But I haven't seen a camper in a while, actually. So, actually I lied. I think I had a camper a couple days ago. So, another one should be showing up soon. And we come back down this way. Just some decorations. Some fun stuff. And this guy, little... What's this again? It's a lost item I put there because I thought it was cute. <laughs> I love those mush lamps. I like want to put ten up there, but I know it'd be too much. Or would it? I should try it sometime. Um, so we come back around. And here is the town square, town hall. And little pathway. The airport is over on this side of the piano and over here is Wolfgang and Wolfgang's spot and then we go up and we got Sylvana's digs and Julian's and for Julian I kinda gave him a little place to stargaze because if you know Julian that's what his house reminds me of so I did it the beaches that need to be worked on, but I got a little turtle crossing area. Little surfboards and life post. Layout beach area, which I actually like this beach area, but not so much the other ones. <laughs> and we come down. Got some more beach. back up to town square town hall I never know what to call it what's up Nate wow he said yawn again <laughs> what do you think yawn uh, time to mix it up it works for you so I have yawn's your new catchphrase I don't get to say I say, let's mix it up, Nate. Oh, I get to pick a catchphrase. I misread that. No, let's say yawn. said that so I don't need to change it yeah you're good <laughs> you guys I love Nate I think he might be my favorite villager good luck to anyone who wants to stop me from saying yawn now oh he is so cute you guys he is my favorite villager I've ever had in the two months I've been playing this but he's my favorite so that brings us back down to over here is my spot needs some work and then up here is a little getaway and no I'm not missing a ramp I didn't want a ramp I just wanted it to be up on a cliff where you had to climb to get up to and I do need to add one or two things to this but like I said my island's a work in progress and I'm really excited to get it going with you guys. Have you guys come along with me to finish up my journey on this island and see where it brings us and see what it does? I want to thank you so much for watching this video and please like it, subscribe, recommend it, and I will see you guys in the next one.